In order to install Git for Windows, we first need to download the installer by going to Git to yeah. Start over. In order to install Git for Windows, we first need to download the installer by going to gitforwindows.org. Once <clears throat> and we're starting again. <laughs> Once downloaded, we will go ahead and run the installer. After accepting the license, for our purposes, we will go ahead and use all of the defaults for Git except for one. We would like to use Visual Studio Code as Git's default editor. And of course, this part could be cut out, or if we really like uh, progress bars, we could always just add some nice smooth jazz over the top of this. <clears throat> Once installed, we can click Finish to exit the Setup Wizard. At this point, we'll launch a new instance of PowerShell in order to... Actually, let me uh, clear that real quick. And... Just go ahead and open my code. Okay. After installing Git, you should open a new instance of PowerShell since the installer sets environment vari variables that you need in order to run Git. <clears throat> After the installer completes, you'll need to open a new window of PowerShell because the git installer will install environment variables as well, and you need to relaunch PowerShell in order for those to register. Once you launch your new version of PowerShell, we will need to configure git for use. For our purposes, we will configure your global username as your username, and your global user email address as your email address. This is a local configuration and will be appended to your commits. Once we have configured your username and your email address, we will want to install the posh git module, which adds visualizations to GitHub as well as, <clears throat> let me start this over. Once we have your username and email address configured, we will want to install the posh git module, which adds visualizations as well as tab completion to the git commands in, in PowerShell. To do this, we will of course need to launch an administrative with, uh, PowerShell console and install module posh git. After running the command, hit yes to install the module from the PowerShell gallery. After installation, it's a good idea to add this to your PowerShell profile. To do that, navigate to your user's Documents folder into the Windows PowerShell folder. Once there, 
you'll need to add a new item called profile.ps1. Inside of the profile, open it to edit it, and we will put install module. Nope, we won't put install module. Once editing your profile.ps1 file, we would like to put import module posh git and save that full file. When saved, this will allow the module to be imported every time you launch PowerShell. And that's it for configuration. If you ever want to check your Git version, just type git dash dash version. Thanks for watching.